Hello and welcome back to Pale Horse Outdoors. Uh, if you've been following my Facebook or Instagram pages, you know that just a few days ago, we had about seven inches of snow in December in Washington State. Well, we get snow in Washington State, but not in this part anyway. Uh, so this is all brand new to me. I mean, I've had my tractor since April of this year and uh, we weren't expecting this whatsoever. Now, the only problem I really have uh, is this long driveway. It's gravel and it's got, you know, it's got a layer of snow and ice on top of gravel. I can get out of here no problem with my, with my Dodge. Um, I can get my wife's car out of here if I drive it up the hill in reverse. Um, but those cars have traction control and if you try to drive up, you know, normally it just doesn't work. So I was hoping I could uh, just get enough of the uh, snow and ice off uh, mixed in with the gravel that we could just drive up properly. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, experience with a bucket and I don't have a lot of experience with uh, a box blade. Um, I don't think those would have done much different anyway because <laughs> what I'm trying to do is the impossible. I'm trying to remove the snow and ice without affecting the rock and that's crazy. But I thought I would give the rake a try and see if I could do a light scrape where it just kind of mix the, uh, the rock and the snow and ice together. So that's what we're going to try. The, uh, the original snowfall was three days ago and I did scrape it off with the, the bucket, but now it's just a sheet of ice basically. I'm actually more concerned my tractor sliding, <laughs> sliding off the road than uh, anything else right now. I'm in four-wheel drive low. Uh, let's see how slippery it is just going up. Okay, not too bad. But I'm going to straight downhill, not uphill. So my plan here is to just set it down, but not the full weight. See what it does. Full weight right here. The snow is a little deeper or a little um, harder than I thought it was going to be. Might actually work all right though.
park this thing. I'm curious to see what effect just that has, has done. Um, Cause right now it's really not that much different than if you put a, low, uh, a light layer of gravel on top of the snow, it's kind of the same thing. I'm gonna get the keys to my wife's car. I know I can back her car up, I've already done it. I'm curious though to see if I can drive it straight up. So going that backwards works pretty well, actually. Uh, but my my friend who's living here with us, uh, he doesn't want to try that in his car. And when he tries to go forward, traction control kills it. Let's see if we can see what we can do here. Same thing here. Traction control is no good. I hit it. Try a little more gusto from where we dug up the rock here in the driveway. Line it up. This was a manual. Almost. No power. No power at all. Point of traction control if it doesn't give you any traction. Nope. Oh, sliding a little bit. Oh, I'm just gonna have to go with it. I get further today than I did yesterday. Way further. Well, I can get out. Wait till I get down here and I can give it some brakes. Right there. Okay. That is a real shame because I'm not gonna tear up my driveway uh, just for this. I can get out with the truck. I can get my wife's car out in reverse. I just need to learn how to use a box plate, I guess. But it's still gonna bring up the, the uh, still gonna bring up the rocks. I don't know, what's the answer? Do I need to salt it? Do I need to, uh, get some road uh, road gravel. Um, of course, I, that'll mix in with my, my existing gravel, and I don't want to do that. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Well, that didn't work too well, did it? Uh, it was worth a try. Um, bottom line is I'm not ready to do driveway maintenance, so I don't want to be uh, tearing up all that rock right now, especially with you know all this snow, and it's supposed to keep snowing. 
So um, it wasn't a success, but I did learn from it. I learned what I can and can't do and how much I really need to learn about removing snow. We just don't normally get this kind of snow in December uh, or in this part of Washington state. This is crazy. Uh, this is the second significant snowfall in 2021. Last February, we got two feet. So I don't know what's going on with the weather, but if it looks like I'm gonna be in for annual snow removal, then I need to learn this. So uh, if you watched all the way through and you saw everything I did, let me know what your advice is. Um, is there a way to remove snow and ice without really messing up your gravel too much? I mean, I, I got it down, uh, you know, pretty low, but on those hills, that's where the problem is. On those hills, the, um, the front wheel drive cars uh, going uh, in normal drive, that traction control kicks in and all they do is spin and you lose all your engine power. So it just doesn't work. If you got any ideas, let me know. And thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified when I release new videos, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. There is no cost to subscribe. It is totally free and you can help my channel grow. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.